to express what they deeply feel is important and to follow their, your heart. It's, it's not always that simple. You may have to take time. You may have to consider other other circumstances, but don't lose touch with what has deep meaning for you. Often, if you have suffered, it becomes something that you know, and through that you have grown in compassion, and you also might want to help other people because you have gone into the depths and come out the other side. No experience goes to waste. You can always use the lessons you learn from life to help advise you and other people about the path, the steps, the choices. I always emphasize that it's about consciousness and choice. You have to know enough about yourself and about the situation. That's consciousness. You have to know what's inside of you and also what is shaping you from outside. Are you being true to yourself or are you living out a role that others want you to live out that doesn't have much meaning for you? When you find that out, it puts you at a crossroad where you have to decide what are you going to do next. You start with an awareness that your life is really precious. It matters what you do with it. It's a great gift. And as you get older and you realize that you're still here and that you have your mind and you have your capacity to feel and you have outlived friends who died earlier and you may have decades left to go, what are you going to do now? Now that you've all this experience, now that you know something about wisdom, what are you going to do with yourself? I find it's a real challenge and a whole new phase of life to find yourself in the third phase of your life, now being more free, if you're lucky, if you are in good health and you have enough resources to have independence for the basic things you need, then you are a very privileged woman. And it's time to feel gratitude and humility both, because those are the qualities that, that partially it's about wisdom, but partially it then makes you open to something coming along that you want to do. And then you need to be able to say yes to something that you want to do. But before many women learn to say yes, they have to learn to say no. No, I don't want to be that person. No, I don't want you in my life. No, I will not be taken advantage of. Once you've learned how to say no, then you can say, yes, that's what I want. <laughs> this has meaning for me. And I say to people that are doing work they love and are making a difference in the world, that they have answered the question from inside themselves. Yes, it's meaningful. Yes, it's fun. And yes, it's motivated by love. And when you do that, you'll find yourself on a path that has meaning for you. And fun doesn't mean easy. Fun means that you are with people who share your values or you're creating something that has meaning for you. You're growing. Growing is fun. Staying the same. Staying the who everybody expects you to be and not changing. That's really not fun. So I suggest that in following your heart, 
that you use also your capacity to think well and then to know when it takes courage. Anything that is motivated from the heart may run into resistance, may put you in another part of your life that you didn't expect. But if you've been following the heartbeat of this is meaningful to me and learning that courage went with it, there's something about knowing from inside that you are leading the life you were meant to lead from inside. It may look different than what others expected you to do. But this is, this is a precious thing, this life. And the other thing is that women now may make the difference between survival of the species and survival of the planet because if there's going to be any major change in the direction that the planet and humanity is going in, women need to bring feminine wisdom, the wisdom that says the priorities are what's good for the children, is good for us all. If you, if you have what I call mother's agenda, you want for every child in the world what you would want for your own child. And as soon as you work towards that, one, it needs to be free of violence. That a child needs to be accepted and wanted. A child needs to be educated and fed well and healthy. Now, in a generation or two, if the children of the world were all mothered by everyone the way you would want your own children to be mothered and fathered for that matter, uh, the kinds of things that happen that have to do with terrorism and, and uh, a lot of psychotic illnesses they wouldn't happen like they are happening now. So make a difference where you are. You're adding your, your wisdom and your heart to make something better and grow in the process. And this is fine work, actually. This gives, this may, may you may find yourself surprised how interesting your life has gotten. I recommend it. <laughs>